What's up guys, it is Ugly Strew here, and we are going to start up a new Let's Play for Alien Vendetta, which is a sort of older PWOD for Doom 2. Um, as you can see, there is a large team that was, uh, that was in charge of this, and it's probably one of my favorites out there. Um, I haven't really played the whole thing start to finish yet, however, I've played a lot of the maps um, through co-op and survival mode in Xandronum, and... I really, really like how this WAD is designed, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. It's definitely one of the more challenging PWADs, though. Also, um, <laughs> I kind of did a little goofy thing where I replaced my face with Doom Guy's, or Doom Guy's face with my face, rather, and um, I'm experimenting with OBS instead of um, my previous software that I used called Action. Um, I really liked action a lot, however, oh, hello, this is secret number one, um, however, with action, whoa, I forgot about that guy, um, action, I couldn't move my actual webcam around, like, it was really hard to, like, crop things, so, that kind of sucked, however, with this HUD that I'm using, um, I don't, I'm not able to, like, see the secrets and amount of kills without actually hitting tab, so, that's going to be weird. So I have one secret. Secret 2, 3, 4, and 5 are in here, if I can get through. There's a soul sphere in here. Drop through. So yeah, this wad... Ow. No armor. That hurts. This wad is definitely a little bit trickier. Ow. Destroyed. Um, I don't know if it's harder than Scythe. I, I think, like, this is more along the skill level of, like... Um, I don't know, the maps are, like, longer in this WOD, so they're not, like, small gimmicky maps like Scythe was, so... This is probably gonna take me a long time to beat. This is a full Mega WOD, I don't remember if I mentioned that or not. But yeah, so this is OBS. I've used it when I was streaming. Like, actually streaming on Twitch, but I've never used it for actual recording. And it's okay. It's definitely not as optimized as Action was. Alright, so that is everything there. We can drop back down here. Come in here. This floor is not damaging, by the way. I'm gonna use a regular shotgun. At least it's all these small enemies are dead. Whoa, hello. I was gonna... It was like a toss-up between this wad and uh, Plutonia 2. But, I don't know. Plutonia 2 wasn't appealing to me as much as this one was. Like, I like it, but... It's too much like the first Plutonia, which is a lot that I've already played through multiple, multiple times. Ow. Um, so if you hit this green torch, come down here, hit this back wall, use this, and that all, that's actually all the secrets. And yeah, now we get the armor. I like the end of the map. Also, I'm going to try to do all these from pistol start, so that's going to be kind of interesting. And, let's see, I think I got everything... Oh, yeah, the exit. So that's all the kills in it. Secrets. So, yeah, that was Sunset. That was map one of Alien Vendetta. So, the first map really doesn't tell you too much about what this wad is going to be like, um, nor does it really give an imprint or a hint of what the future maps are going to be designed like. So, um, I don't know, there's really not too much to say about this first map. Um, there's nothing crazy other than, I mean, you're, you see a Hell Knight before you get, like, any sort of heavy weapon, but there's no arch vials or anything like that. So, someone playing through this one for the first time would probably think that this one is going to be um, fairly easy. But, I mean, later on in this wad, you'll definitely see that that is not exactly the case. So, that is it for map one, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you all next time at map two, Rusty Rage. Take it easy, guys. Bye. Oh shit, I don't have a hotkey for this, do I? I have to actually